Ladies and gentlemen, the guy sitting in for Paul Schaefer. Bob Mouncy. Thank you. Sure. How you doing? Rob Mouncy. Nice to have you here, Rob. Thank you very much for helping us out. And I guess we, we have Paul here on the line from Vancouver, don't we? Oh, yeah. Make Rob feel bad. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, Vancouver. Okay, this is Paul here. Hello. Hi. Paul, how are you? I'm fine. fine. Room what? service just arrived. Uh -huh. What are you having there? I've got a lovely uh, Canadian roast beef sandwich here. Let me just sign it here and put a huge gratuity on here. <laughs> for the uh, Paul, chap. Paul. Garland came up here to deliver my sandwich. Well, that's very nice of him. Uh, how's the weather there in Vancouver? Uh, it's a little overcast today. All right, now tell the people what you're going to be doing in a few short hours. I'm going to, I'm uh, very, very honored, Dave, to be attending a uh, dinner this evening in honor of uh, the Prince and uh, Princess of Wales, mm -hmm. uh, Prince Charles, uh, uh, for your information. And, uh, and of course, Lady I, I know who it is, Paul. Ah. Yeah. Ah. And, uh, very excited to be here. I just, uh, just got off a plane a little while ago. Got a lot of calls already from the press. Uh -huh. It seems people think we're coming here to do the show. No, is there, no, was there anything no, about us coming to Vancouver to do no, the show? No, no, we're not. We're not coming to Vancouver to do the show, although we'd love to come to Vancouver. Now, listen, Paul, how soon are you going down there to meet these people? Uh, within a couple of hours. Okay, look, have you got a second? Can you stay with us through a viewer mail? Yeah, I think I'd love to. I think it's going to be rocky. How is Will doing over there? Will's doing just fine. we got a horse on tonight, Paul. Yeah, I heard it. Are you going to ride the horse? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have to do everything. Okay. okay, Paul, here we go. I'll tell you what, why don't you count off the letters for us? Okay. Like we sometimes do. All the way from Vancouver, a transcontinental viewer mail. Get ready, Paul. Go ahead. Anytime. Letter number one. Thank you very much, Paul. All the way from Vancouver. A beautiful city, by the way, isn't it, Paul? Huh? Gorgeous up here. Did you go to the park, like I mentioned? I, I've got a view of Stanley Park right from okay. my window. Letter number one. Dear Mr. Letterman, on May 9th, 1986, this, by the way, is uh, actual letters. These are actual letters from actual viewers, and we answer them once a week here on Thursday. Go ahead. Do it again, Paul. Yeah, letter number one. Dear Mr. Letterman, on May 9th, 1986, Boy Scout Troop 6 will be honoring our scout, Gregory W. Janicki. He will be receiving scouting's highest award, that of Eagle Scout. This scout's goal in life is to enter the field of journalism and the television media. He is a tremendous fan of yours. Well, that's very th thoughtful. And I know uh, he would enjoy receiving a letter of congratulations from you for his outstanding work in scouting. Yours in scouting, Robert Burns, Chicago, Illinois. Uh, well, Paul, oh, by the way, Paul, don't play along on this one. Oh. Okay. Uh, Paul, what, what, do you, what do you think of this? A scout wants to go into uh, broadcasting. Tonight, the part of Paul Schaefer will be played by stagehand Jimmy Fitzgerald. Dave, that's the nuttiest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> There's no place for out of it, nowhere, scouts in a marvelous industry like showbiz. Well, Paul, uh, I have to disagree with you here. I think scouting does have a place in show business. For instance, the night that the microphones here in the studio went dead and the audience couldn't hear a word I said. You know, I remember that as if it were yesterday. God. So, Paul, did you learn a little something from this? Absolutely, Dave. I hope. Wait, hold, hold up, Paul. We got a guy standing in for you. Jimmy sounded marvelous yeah, at we're, me, though. We're, we're not done yet. Hang on. We'll get back to you. Okay. I'm sorry, Paul. So, did you learn a little something from this? I sure did, Dave. I learned that scouting is a gas. Yeah, good for you. Okay, Jimmy. Okay, Paul. Anytime. That was marvelous. Is it time for the next letter? Okay, Paul. Go right ahead. Okay, here we go. Letter number two. Okay. By the way, we're we're doing better than expected. Great. Yeah. What are you wearing right now, Paul? I just got on, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just slipping into my tux right now, as a matter of fact. Are you really? I didn't bring the right socks, though. You're going you're gonna to get it wrinkled if you get it uh, on this early, aren't you? I know. Well, I want to check it out and make sure everything's okay. I don't have the silk socks. I've got to go buy the socks as soon as I hang up. Oh, well. Because you've got to have the right accessories. You here's, know? here's a man living on the edge. <laughs> He's in Vancouver. He's got to go shopping for socks. Got to have the right socks. You got to have black silk socks with a, with a tux. Okay. All right. Do it again, Paul. Letter 
Number two. Dear Dave, I have been watching your show now for a number of years. I have seen it on both black and white TVs as well as uh, color televisions, but each has a different look to it. Uh, I was wondering if you taped two different shows, one to be shown on black and white, the other on color TV. <laughs> Sincerely yours, Wade Wilcox, UW. Is that University of Wisconsin, Platteville? Well, we're not sure. It's an interesting uh, question, though, Wade. And uh, no, we, we don't tape two different versions of the show for black and for white and for color TVs, but uh, we do tape a special version of the show for those of you who have those little tiny miniature televisions like the Sony Watchman. Hal, show them what that uh, special version looks like. Here it is on the screen, and you'll see uh, right after this show we tape it. There it is, right there. <laughs> okay. let's, let's, let's leave it that way for a while. See if we can really irritate people tonight. <laughs> now, there's nothing wrong with your sets. We're just screwing around with you, all right? Uh, okay, Paul, here we go, buddy. Next letter? Yeah. Letter number three. Okay. Hi. Dear Dave, do you really hate ABC and CBS? I would be willing to bet that you watch some shows on those networks just as we all do. I bet you even like some of them. Do you honestly think that they are as bad as they say they are? Respectfully, yours, Laura J. Fenn, Smith College, Northampton, Massachusetts. Uh, well, Laura, your idealistic letter brought me up short, I must say, and I have been critical of other networks, but I got to thinking about it, and you know, I think if we could meet face to face and discuss our difficulties openly, maybe we'd find uh, that we have a lot in common. So we have some representatives here tonight from other networks. Please make them feel welcome from ABC, Mr. Charles Dixon, and from CBS, Mr. Vernon Wallace. Charles, nice to see you. How do you do? Vernon, nice good, how are you? So, uh, uh, gentlemen, we're very honored to have you here. Uh, let, me, let me know if there's anything that I can help you with to make your stay a little more pleasant. Well, you could fix me up with some of the broads around here. Yeah. I mean, where can a guy get a drink in this dump? <laughs> well, I tell you, uh, we'll, we'll get to that later, Mr. Wallace. Tell me, what are some of the projects you're working on over at CBS? Well, we're trying to get clearance to put cigarette ads on Saturday morning cartoons. Oh. Uh -huh. mm. Great idea. Good, uh, we've got one. We've got one uh -huh. that makes the evening news a lot easier. What, what just, is that? We just make it up. <laughs> yeah, uh, but you know, we're, we're different networks, different approaches, but basically, wouldn't you agree we all share a commitment to quality programming? Oh yeah, sure. Oh, come on. Those idiots out there, they'll watch anything you put on. Oh, hi, Dave, Tommy. Dave, maybe I'm out of line, but I can't sit still and listen to this. Well, It's bad enough to sell them cigarettes to kids, but they just insulted the best damn audience in the world. If you'll excuse me, I'll be back after they take out that garbage. Thank you, Tommy. Nice to Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Hey, what's the old tamer so bent out of shape for? Yeah, we're just expressing our opinion. That's right, gentlemen. You're just expressing your opinion, and now I'm going to express mine. Get the hell out of my studio! I wish I could go looking for socks with you, Paul. Boy, Dave, you really showed those network guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know how silly it feels. This is what Arnie Barnes feels like. That's, that's He's got to sit here with a phone listening to the show. He can't even see it. All right, we're almost finished here, Paul. Let's go back to the regular format, Hal, so people don't uh, start uh, whatever they do when they have... There it is. Oh, no, let's go back. <laughs> Uh, okay, Paul, we're down to the, uh, I think it's the last letter here, buddy. Great. And then we'll let you get on to your gala evening. Now, don't okay. embarrass yourself and mention my name. Okay, take I it sure away. Will. Here we go. Letter number four. Thank you, Paul. Dear Mr. Letterman, my name is Eva Sullivan. I live in northern Idaho. I'm writing you this letter in hopes that you might be willing to give my 14-year-old son a little excitement for his birthday. His birthday is on Monday, May 5th, and he will be 15 years old. My family and I would really appreciate it if you could just squeeze in a happy birthday to him on that night. Sincerely yours, Ava J. Sullivan, northern Idaho. Of course, that's the part of the state where they have no cities. Ava, uh, you know, I would just love to wish your son a happy birthday, but I'm afraid that would violate my contract with the fine video cassette company that uh, pays me to make these Dave Letterman happy birthday birthday party tapes. Here, let me show you what they look like. Put them up there where you can get a good look at them. See, they come all different names. And... Yeah. 
You can get them both uh, VHS and uh, in the beta format. I tell you what, Hal, can you play just a couple of these and uh, we'll uh, show uh, Ava what these look like? Happy birthday, Frank. Happy birthday, Francine. Happy birthday, Frederick. Happy birthday, Gabe. Okay. Okay. All right. That's it. That's our viewer mail. Listen, uh, Paul, nice job. Have a good trip, and we'll look forward to seeing you Monday. And uh, see if you can't work my name into the conversation somehow. I will. I'll give uh, you a roll regards. Okay, take care of yourself. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye, right. Paul. Bye. Okay, there goes Paul. All right, we're... Uh, oh, we got a great show. Oh, the horse. Yeah, the horse will be out here in just a minute. We have to pause for a commercial. We'll be right back.